All right, Shaheem, where we, where are we? Good to see you, man. In your opinion, what are the steps to achieve black ownership in the NFL and remain successful enough for others who want to, who want to aspire to it? I have this question for people when they ask, like, what we need is a black owner. Who has that kind of money? Like, it's the, it's, the, it's the simplest question that comes to me. When people make the argument that the problem with the, all these other places is that we don't have black ownership and we need black ownership. And there's an argument for it. I'm just trying to figure out who are these black people. Like, I think we looked this up for something. I want to say there are eight black billionaires in America, and you know the names of six of them. It's like Oprah, Rihanna, Jay-Z. I think Dr. Dre got himself up there. Tyler Perry. But you actually know who those people are. Let's just say it's a lot more white billionaires than that. And the black billionaires, like, to be a billionaire, you only got to have one billion. <laughs> right? To buy an NFL team, you probably need to have about five. Who has that kind of money? Right? And so you realize the game is kind of rigged on that front. The other part of it for me in the discussion of black billionaires, have any of y'all ever worked for black people before? <laughs> did it feel that much different than working for a white person? Like, like, did you feel like, man, I'm so glad that, you know, this person who is writing me these checks is black. They treat me so... No, 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 no. Like, you might have a black boss that's, like, another level of middle management and they treat you real good. But the absolute top... Like, has anybody in here ever worked at BET? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you go talk to anybody that worked for Bob Johnson and ask them if they wasn't begging to go work for a white man. In the end... <laughs> it's... To say it, it's still a boss. It's still capitalism. It's still all those things. And so, yes, it is unfair that capitalism has boxed us out in such a way that it'd be so difficult for any of us to be the black billionaires. But I'm just telling you, that black billionaire is going to be the same kind of asshole as that other billionaire is that you would have been working with because the only way to get to be a billionaire is to either, A, be an asshole, or, B, be like one of those six black billionaires that we can name because they can sing or dance or something, like do something like that. Otherwise, you get your money by taking it from people. And that black billionaire gonna take it from the black players the exact same way. I don't know if any of y'all saw the uh, first episode of the season, but we were talking about LeBron James. He's gonna be an owner. He's going to act like owners do. They don't act like that because they white. They act like that because they own. You know, it just happens that they own all the stuff. So it feels, you know, like the same thing. But ain't no white person that works in these jobs, getting up there, and there's a white man that's the billionaire at the top, and they're just like, yo, I'm just so glad I work for this white man. No, man, that white man be treating them bad, too. <laughs> like, we all in it in the same way. So the first step that we can achieve for black ownership is finding a lot more money for one black person. <laughs> we can't even share it with everybody else. It would all have to go to one black person. That's like when people talk about, like, the rise of HBCUs in Jackson State and stuff. We would have to treat Jackson State like the only HBCU in order to make that work. You couldn't have 20 of them. We just ain't got that kind of money. That's it, including myself, in spite of this $17,000 suit. <laughs> All right, appreciate it.